What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over YouTube advertising costs so I can answer the question, how much does it cost to run YouTube ads? Now, number one and the first thing I want to go over is you as an advertiser have complete control over what you budget and you have about 99% control over how much you spend. So on a given day, you may spend more than your daily budget, but if you set a total spend budget, for example, we're going to come over here to a campaign that I was running. Now, don't mind my some ads disapproved over here. I think that was made in an error, so I just deleted the advertisement that was disapproved. If we come down here, it's saying this was for housing because they think that I'm promoting a house, even though I'm promoting house decor. So if you have that issue, you can always resubmit this advertisement. I just removed it all together, and I shouldn't have any other issues with my other advertisements. But coming back over here to costs. So one thing that we can do is go into the settings for this campaign and you're going to see here for our budget and dates. So when I created this campaign, I set a campaign total budget, which you cannot change after you launch your campaign. And my total budget for this campaign is $500. You can see I've spent $63.36 so far. I started on September 14th. Today is the 18th and my end date is going to be October 14th, which we can change as well. So starting with our budget and how much we're actually spending, you have a ton of control over that because if I tell Google Ads I only want to spend $500 here for my campaign total, then that's how much I'm going to spend. So if we click on cancel here and we just come back to our all campaign screen and we go to click to create a new campaign and let's just say for example, we want to create a new sales campaign and we want to use a video campaign type, we want to drive conversions and we click on continue. A couple things I want to show you really quick is our bid strategy for this is going to be maximize conversions or target CPA where we can set how much we want to spend per action, essentially per conversion. So what you want to do is set a target CPA that would be less than what a conversion is worth for your business. So that's an important part of your cost. Even more important than how much you're spending is how much you're driving conversions for. So if we set one of these bid strategies, we're just going to be optimizing our campaign for conversions so you're you don't have a lot of control over how much you're spending per view and how much you're spending on a 1000 impression basis so let's keep scrolling down the other thing i want to show you is our budget and dates so when you're setting your budget and dates for a youtube video advertising campaign you can set a daily budget and for example if i set a 10 dollars daily budget i might have a day where i spend five dollars i might have a day where i spend fifteen dollars but over the course of a month, you won't pay more than your daily budget times the average number of days in a month, which is 30.4. So take your daily budget, multiply it by 30.4. That's how much you'll spend in a given month. However, if you're running your campaign, let's say for a week, and I set this at $10, you're probably gonna end up spending somewhere between $60 to about $80 for that week. So you might spend a little bit more or less on a given day. If you really want control, do a campaign total budget, set your total budget amount, do a start date and an end date and run your campaign. You can always restart your campaign and you can adjust your end dates and you can adjust your budget amount. So when it comes to budget and spend, you have complete control over how much YouTube advertising actually costs you. So if we come back to my other campaign, we're gonna leave this page real quick. Hey everyone, thank you for your support watching my videos over the years. If you wanna to continue to support my channels while also using some of the best marketing tools, you can try either SEMrush or SpyFu if you haven't already. Both are great PPC and SEO tools. If you use the link at the bottom here for either one, they are affiliate links, so it will help support my channel and support Surfside PPC. If you're not interested, no problem. Back to the video. When we look at what I've spent so far, so, so far for this campaign, I've spent $63.36. So that's how much YouTube is going to charge me for this campaign. And in this case, we're running our ads through Google Ads. So it's essentially how much Google Ads is charging you for your campaign. So I wanted to make that clear that you have a ton of control over how much you're budgeting and how much you're spending. Now, looking at some of these different options for as far as our average cost per view and our average cost per 1,000 impressions. So average cost per view, pretty obvious how much you're spending per view on your video advertisement. If we come back over here, you can see my average CPV, my average cost per view is eight cents. So that means every single video advertisement view of these 839 views have cost me eight cents each. 
So what you can do with this information as far as average cost per view is, so let's come over here to this calculator and I'm just using the calculator on google.com and let's say I wanna know how much 10,000 views is gonna cost me if I'm running it at eight cents per view. So what you would do is you would take 10,000, you would multiply it by your cost per view and it's gonna cost you $800 to get 10,000 video advertisement views. And if we come over to my channel, you can see some of the different advertisements that we're running. So this one right here has 285 views. This version two has 185 views. And then this video ad over here has 169 views. So it's not gonna report every single view on your video for how many you get on your actual YouTube advertisement. So keep that in mind. It's not gonna be the exact same number that you're seeing there. But I wanted to go over what your average cost per view would be. And if you're wondering how much an average cost per view is on YouTube ads, around eight cents is pretty close to what I see. Generally, I will see anywhere from about five to six cents all the way up to 20 to 30 cents per view, depending on what you're promoting and who you're targeting and how much your campaign is spending per day. So if you have a very low budget campaign, you can get your cost per view very, very low over time, but it's gonna depend how much you're actually spending who you're targeting and how long you're running your campaign but you should be able to get your average cost per view much lower over time so this eight cents is without any optimization at all so it's really not too bad of a cost per view for this type of campaign so next if we come over here to columns one of the things we can do is come down here to target frequency if you look at target frequency it'll show you the average impression frequency per user over the last seven days total impressions of our video advertising campaign so our average CPM is $4.09. So for every 1,000 impressions, it's costing us $4.97. Now, if we wanna figure out, for example, how much 100,000 100, impressions is gonna cost, what we can do is say 100,000. So you would start with 100,000. You're gonna divide it by 1,000 because we're, this is a cost per 1,000 impressions. So you're gonna come up with this number here. And then what you wanna do is take this number and multiply it by our average CPM. So multiply it times $4.97. So in order to get 100,000 impressions on our video, it's gonna cost us $497. So for 12,751 impressions, cost us $63.36. So that's how to look at average cost per view and average CPM. Now keep in mind there are certain can campaign types. So if we create a new campaign, for example, and let's say we're doing product and brand consideration, we're using video, we're gonna do influence consideration and click on continue. You're gonna see the bid strategy here is gonna be maximum cost per view. So with maximum cost per view, what we can actually do at the very bottom here is after we create our YouTube video ads, we can set how much we're willing to pay for someone to view our video ad. So you can keep your maximum cost per view bid here, maybe set it at six cents, five cents. So you can keep your cost per view very, very low so that's just one option you have as far as controlling your costs. The only thing is what you really wanna be doing is using the sales or leads goal here for your objective. So you shouldn't be as focused on how much you're paying per 1000 impressions, how much you're paying for per view. You should be focused on how much you're paying for each individual conversion on your website. So the other option is if we come to brand awareness and reach, we click on video and let's just say we're gonna run a video reach campaign, efficient reach, we'll click on continue our bid strategy here is going to be target CPM. So when we scroll down to the bottom, what we can do is set our target CPM bid. So my target, my CPM, my average CPM for the campaign I was running was $4.97. So you can set a target CPM bid here at $4, $3. You can really control how much it's costing you for those 1000 impressions or for each of those video views. So just something to keep in mind as you're looking at your different costs and the different bid strategies you have available to you. Target CPA and maximize conversions are gonna be highly focused on conversions. So that's the main thing you're optimizing for is your cost per conversion. So as we come down here, cost per conversion, return on ad spend. So obviously you wanna know how much a conversion is worth for your business. So as you start driving conversions with your campaign, let's just take that target CPA example from earlier. Let's say we're driving sales, so we're driving purchases, we'll click on continue. Using video, we're driving conversions. 
So let's just say we're setting our bid strategy. We come over here to target CPA. Let's say every single conversion on our website is worth $100. So we'll keep it a nice even number, $100. With our target CPA here, you can see the typical target CPA for a video campaign. What we could do is set our target CPA at $25. So that means we're spending $25 on advertising and it's delivering $100 in revenue on our website. So what you really want to do is get how much a conversion costs for you and how much your return on ad spend is. So as you start incorporating the overall value of each conversion, this is where YouTube advertising costs can actually work for your business to make sure that you're driving results in terms of conversions and revenue. So that's how YouTube advertising costs work. Let's just come back over here to my campaign one more time and just look at some of the columns. I'm also going to go over a lot of these different columns so you can understand all of these different metrics as well. So our, our cost for the campaign that I ran, you can see I just ran it one day. Average CPM, $4.97. So if we come over here to columns, you can look at your conversion data. So I didn't actually drive any conversions. I drove 50 clicks. When I checked, I realized my conversion wasn't set up properly in my back end. So obviously you wanna make sure your conversion is set up properly. This is just an example campaign, so I'm not overly concerned about how many conversions I'm driving. I'm not gonna keep running this campaign after today. But 839 views, $63.36. You can kind of expect to pay something similar to what I paid for this campaign. But really what you wanna do is start driving clicks start driving conversions, get your conversion rate, get your cost per conversion, because as you start getting that data, it becomes much easier to understand how successful a campaign is, because sometimes when you're looking at columns and you're looking at things like branding, you're just looking at your impression, your view rate, your cost per view. It doesn't really tell you much. If we come over and we look at reach metrics, what you can see is it's not showing us unique users. It's saying impression per unique users 1.1. We don't have a frequency distribution yet and then total impressions. So you're not seeing a ton of data here as we're looking. So earned views 11 and we have zero earned subscribers, shares or likes from this campaign. So if we come over here to columns one more time and let's just do target frequency. So you're not getting a ton of data yet for this campaign, but just to understand what all of these different metrics mean as you look at all of your different columns. And you can always come to modify columns here and look at all of these different options as far as YouTube goes. So I'll go over this in a separate video, but I wanted to go over costs real quick. If you spend $63 on a campaign, now you have some idea of what an average CPM might be and your average cost per view. And then ultimately what you wanna do is start optimizing for conversions and return on ad spend. So if you have any questions about YouTube advertising costs, I would say the average cost per view, if you're trying to forecast a campaign, I would set it at 10 cents. For an average CPM, if you're trying to forecast the campaign, I would set that at about seven to eight dollars for an average CPM. If you can get your numbers lower, then your forecast should improve based on, you know, as you start running your campaign. So again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.